after four years and tens if not hundreds of dua that I taught you with the help of Allah Azza wa Jal we come to an end of the series today inshallah Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alameen with the help of Allah Azza wa Jal this series was beyond successful and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put so much barakah in it that it went all over the world tonight inshallah ta'ala we will finish the series with the dua that Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah called it the best of dua the most comprehensive dua and the most beneficial dua in the Quran and this dua is known to every single Muslim on earth most of them and the dua is ihdina sirat al-mustaqim this is literally the best dua because if this dua is answered everything that you hoped for in the dunya and in the akhirah is the best is done subhanallah so let's explain this dua first ihdina why plural i am alone talking to allah azza wa jal as a matter of fact this plural started from iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in it's in plural right it's not iyaka a'budu wa iyaka asta'in ya allah we all worship you and we all seek your help and then after that came ihdina guide us number one it is more befitting to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you ask him in plural yani, ya allah i'm not the only one that worship you i'm not the only one who need your guidance we all are lost without your guidance number one number two can you imagine imam sheikh sajjad is uh, reading the fatiha and saying ihdini sirat al mustaqim and we are all saying ameen طيب يا شيخ, what about us <laughs> yani, subhanallah imagine the imam in general is saying guide me and we are saying all ameen what about the people behind you the hundreds the thousands or the millions in mecca that are staying behind you praying behind you so ihdina is more befitting for for the uh, position of the ayah and the meaning of the ayah second if you know a little bit of Arabic, there are three different verbs. There's a fi'l madi, fi'l mudari' and fi'l amr, right? There is a past verb, there's a recurring verb, and there's an order verb, command. What is ihdina? It's a fi'l amr. Tayyib. Am I ordering Allah? No. Subhanallah. Our scholars said, when the fi'l al-amr, when the command verb comes from the lower to the higher, it's a dua. And when it comes from the higher to the lower, from Allah to his ibad, it's an order, it's a command. Ittaqullah, fear Allah. But when it comes from the ibad to Allah, Ya Allah, ihdini, aafini, ighfirli. I'm not ordering Allah, I'm requesting Allah. It becomes a dua. Now there are two kinds of guidance, ihdina. I'm asking for guidance. What kind of guidance? There are two kinds of guidance. Guidance at ta'aleem, guidance in irshad, guidance of teaching. Like for example, and this is the job of the prophets and the shuyukh and the, I tell you that, ya shabab, or I tell someone, you have to pray, you must pray. Salat is very important. Salat is the rukun of the deen. I tell them that this is, I'm guiding him to the importance of salat. This is the first kind of guidance, which is, known to everybody now the second kind of guidance is the guidance called guidance tawfiq this is only only strictly exclusively for allah azza wa so i can tell the guy to pray but only allah can make the salat beloved to his heart that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam la ahbabt you cannot guide the one you love when he was desperately wanting to guide his uncle. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this ayah in Surah Al-Qasas that you cannot guide that second guidance even if you love the person so much. You just can tell them. The, and that's why many of us suffer with our children, right? I, I did this, I did this. Listen carefully. If you really, really did your best, 
from the beginning, you tried your best, everything with your child, and he's, he or she are not being righteous, you have done your best, and the guidance is only from Allah Azza wa Jal. But Allah knows your best. Do not take this as an excuse. I tried my best. No, no. As a matter of fact, that uh, our beloved Imam just recited, Ya Allah, my son, Nuh alayhi salam. Ya Allah, my son, min ahli, he is from my family. Innahu laysa min ahlik. Because the son did not follow his father, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Nuh alayhi salam, he's not from your family. So the relationship even with me and my children is according to the deen. The minute my son leaves the deen, I leave him. This is exactly what the Shaykh recited. I talk to him, I try to convince him, I, I do everything possible. But when he insists of leaving the deen, Habibi, lakum deenukum waliya deen. Even if it was my closest people to me. So guide me, Ya Allah, ihdina sirat al mustaqim. Ya Allah, guide me. Both kinds of guidance. And look at the greatness here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not say, ihdina ila sirat to, or ihdina lis sirat. Huh? Or ala sirat, he left it open. Ihdina sirat. What does that mean? I want, Ya Allah, all kinds of guidance. I want, Ya Allah, all kinds of guidance. I want to know about the guidance. I want to follow the guidance. I want to do the guidance sincerely from the bottom of my heart. I want to do that guidance, that ibadah, according to the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And... Ya Allah, keep me on the straight path. That's why it's not only once a day. Minimum 17 times a day. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim. Guide us, Ya Allah, to the straight path and keep us on the straight path and make us perform the ibadat that are pleasing to you. Because, Ya Akhwan, al-sirat al-mustaqim is the sirat, is the path that leads to the pleasure of Allah and eventually to the Jannah. And subhanAllah, the hadith when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa told us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after he finished the Jannah, he told Jibreel, go take a look at Jannah. And Jibreel came back and said, so Allah told him, what do you think? He said, oh, Ya Allah, whomsoever sees it would love to enter it. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surrounded the Jannah with hardships. And then he told Jibreel, go take a look again. He said, Ya Allah, I don't know if anybody could enter it because it's surrounded by hardships, surrounded by protecting and holding back your desire, surrounded by preventing yourself looking at haram, earning haram, missing salawat, it's surrounded by a lot of hardships, while Jahannam is surrounded by all kinds of desires. Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, he said something beautiful. He said, the more firm you are on the sirat in this dunya, you will be firm on the sirat in the akhirah. If you were firm on the sirat in this dunya and you're trying to fight all your desires, stay away from the prohibitions and do everything that Allah, as much as you can from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet ordered, you will find yourself crossing the sirat like lightning. And if you don't, al jaza. The reward is according to the actions that you did while you were still here. Subhanallah, many people are saying, Tayyib, 17 times a day, let's say there are 1.6 billion Muslims. And let's say, assume that only 1 billion, only 1 billion pray. So 17 billion times a day, Muslims are asking Allah to guide them to the straight path. Right? Minimum, minimum, 17 billion times a day, asking and begging, Ya Allah, guide us to the straight path. We are asking, and we are asking the one who can, who can solve any problem and do anything. And at the end, look at our state. So what's wrong with the formula? I am asking, I'm begging. And the one I am asking can do anything. And our state is you all know what's happening. So where's the problem? The problem is with the way we are asking. 
اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. نو فيلينج نو اندرستاندينج يلا 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 اي جاست ونت جيت ات اوفر وذ اي ونت جاست فينيش يلا ذي ار ويتينج فور مي ذا جيم از ويتينج ذا موفي از ويتينج ماي فاميلي از ويتينج ذا كوكينج از ويتينج يلا اهدنا الصراط المستقيم وات كايند اوف ريكوست از ذيس وات كايند اوف ديماند وات كايند اوف Dua is this. You are asking the best dua. Wallahi, before I came here, I said, Ya Allah, make my speech change. Everybody's ihdina sirat al-mustaqim. Because if that is answered, Wallahi, all our life will change. All Muslims' life will change. If I am really begging, Ya Allah, I beg you, Ya Allah, keep me on the straight path. Keep my children on the straight path. Keep my dhurriya, my offspring on the straight path. My brothers and sisters all over the world, if they're, imagine 17 billion times. I always give you this example. I know this brother, let's call him Ahmed. Brother Ahmed is multi-billionaire, multi-billionaire. And not only that, he's extremely, extremely generous. And you came and asked me for money. I said, you know what? Go to Ahmed. Multi-billionaire and extremely generous. So you came back. I said, everything's okay? He said, no. He did not give me anything. So I went to Ahmed. I said, Ahmed, you never, every time I send you someone, you always take care of them. He said, Sheikh, you should see the guy, the way he asked. Give me $20. I want $20 now. The way we are asking Allah Azza wa Jal is not proper. So, ya akhwan, when it comes to Ihdina Sirat al-Mustaqim, we already prepared the praise الحمد لله رب العالمين I'm praising Allah الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين After all this praise اهدنا اهدنا الصراط المستقيم والله يعني سبحان الله With the state that we are in, we should be focusing and putting our heart in إهدنا الصراط المستقيم. So, يا أخوان, please, every time you recite, يعني, is it coincidence or is it just words that we have to repeat? How come it's not duha that we have to repeat 17 times a day? How come it's the Fatiha? How come it's the Fatiha? Have you ever asked yourself why it's the Fatiha? Why did Allah and His Prophet choose the Fatiha to be the one repeated so many times, so many times? Have you ever seen anyone on earth say, I am bored from repeating the Fatiha? Allah Akbar. <laughs> you repeat anything for five, six times. Uh, come on, ya Allah, next. Well, give me something else except the Fatiha. Subhanallah. So, I end the series with the best dua ever and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us all to the straight path and keep us on the straight path. Guide our children to the straight path. Keep them steadfast on the straight path. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the people whom their last words are la ilaha illallah. I ask Allah to grant our daughters the righteous husbands and grant our sons the righteous wives. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make our last deeds our best deeds.